September 28, 1920, a grand jury indicts eight members of the Chicago White Sox on charges of fixing the 1919 World Series in the Black Sox scandal. It is the black eye on the sport that would lead to the banning of eight players. Eddie Sicott and shoeless Joe Jackson both confessed to accepting money from gamblers. Sicott's second pitch of Game 1 of the 1919 World Series hit the Reds' leadoff batter, which was the prearranged signal to the gamblers that the players had accepted the fix. Jackson and Sicott would both recant their confessions after key evidence went missing from the Cook County Courthouse. Years later, the missing confessions would reappear in the possession of Comiskey's lawyer. September 28, 1941. Ted Williams of the Boston Red Sox goes 6-for-8 in a doubleheader against the Philadelphia Athletics to finish the season with a 406 batting average. No player has batted 400 since. September 28, 1974. Nolan Ryan pitches his third of seven career no-hitters, striking out 15 batters and beating the Minnesota Twins 4-0 at Anaheim Stadium. He also walks eight to run his season total to 202 bases on balls, joining Bob Feller in 1938 as the only pitcher to walk more than 200 in a season. Ryan will again top 200 in 1977. September 28, 2007, the Boston Red Sox clinched the American League East title, bringing to an end a streak of nine consecutive division titles by the New York Yankees, dating back to 1998. The Yankees will not miss the postseason, however, having clinched the American League wild card. That was September 28, this day in baseball.